Speaking of Independence Eve, it's not the only concert in the Civic Center Park for the first weekend of July. Thanks to a growing partnership between the Civic Center Conservancy and AEG, the park is hosting more concerts, including world-class artists. Yeah, the Conservancy says it's all about giving the people what they want, and AEG is happy to do just that. You know, we've heard from the community over and over that they wanted to see more music in Civic Center Park. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to be able to um, connect with our city and to have this wonderful venue in the in the dead center of downtown. I mean, it's it's amazing. Eric Lazari, the executive director of the Civic Center Conservancy and Lachlan Connors, a senior marketing manager with AEG, sat down in the park to talk about the partnership. Really, you know, this partnership has taken what was really a solo event, Independence Eve, July 3rd, and we've really been able to turn this into a, an experience of different types of shows over the course over the course of the week in Civic Center Park. Over the first weekend of July, the team will work together for Dusty Boots, a country music festival, and Zed's Dead, an EDM concert on either side of Independence Eve. Connor says the partnership is important because bringing music to the park is inspiring. Just an amazing space and uh, Denver is, is so important to us. You know, we, we love to be able to have the opportunities to, to connect with the people in our city. We love to be able to bring uh, live music. It's always our goal to, to bring smiles to people's faces, create memories for people they can always look back on and remember. Yeah, I love it when you talk about the smiles because so much of what our work is is about gathering in public space is about bringing joy into people's lives. And one of the best ways we can do that is, is through music. And so this is a really solid partnership. That's very right. And we're, we're very grateful for it. And a beautiful space, right? It looks like it, yeah. Okay, join me and Brian in the park on Monday, July 3rd. The only place you can see the concerts and fireworks this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Gates open up at 5 o'clock. The concerts begin at 530. And you'll find food trucks and bars.